Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7, chapter 5, triangles, exercise 5.2, 6 sum onwards. See now question number 6, find the value of x and y in each of the following triangles. Let us see the solution in triangle TOP. Angle T equals to 60 degrees, angle O equals to Y, angle OPT that equals to X and angle RPQ that equals to 68 degrees. From the figure angle OPT and angle RPQ that is these both angles are equal. Why? Because both are vertically opposite angles. Therefore angle OPT is X that equals to angle RPQ means 68 degrees. So, both are equal that is x equal to 68 degrees. We know that from triangle TOP, sum of the interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle T plus angle O plus angle P that equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle T is 60 degrees plus angle O Y plus angle P X that equals to 180 degrees. That implies 60 degrees plus Y plus X means 68 degrees that equals to 180 degrees. That implies y plus 60 plus 68 that is 128 that equals to 180 degrees. Plus 128 on transposing it becomes minus 128. That is y equal to 180 degrees minus 128 degrees. That implies y equal to 52 degrees. Therefore x value is 68 degrees and y value is equal to 52 degrees. See now 6th question B sum. In triangle EFG. Angle E equal to 70 degrees, angle F equals to 74 degrees, angle EGF that equals to X, angle EGH that equals to Y. We know that in triangle EGF, sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So, angle E plus angle F plus angle G that equals to 180 degrees. Angle E equal to 70 degrees plus angle F equal to 74 degrees plus angle G equal to X. That equals to 180 degrees. That implies 70 degrees plus 74 degrees that is 144 degrees plus x that equal to 180 degrees. That implies x equal to plus 144 on transposing it becomes minus 144. That implies x equal to 36 degrees. Therefore, angle EGF that equals to x that equals to 36 degrees. C next angle EGF plus angle EGH that equals to 180 degrees. Why? Because X and Y these two angles are form a linear pair. Angle EGF is X plus angle EGH is Y that equals to 180 degrees. We know X value is 36 degrees. So 36 degrees plus Y that equals to 180 degrees. That implies Y equal to plus 36 and transposing it becomes minus 36. So, y value is equal to 144 degrees. Therefore, x equal to 36 degrees and y equal to 144 degrees. See now question number 7. In a right angled triangle, one acute angle is 37 degrees. Find the other acute angle. Let us see the solution given in triangle ADI. Angle A is 37 degrees. Angle D they are given as right angle that is 90 degrees. We know that in triangle ADI, sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So, angle A plus angle D plus angle I that equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle A 37 degrees plus angle D 90 degrees plus angle I that equals to 180 degrees. That implies 37 degrees plus 90 degrees that is 127 degrees plus angle I that equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle I equals to plus 127 on transposing it becomes minus 127. So angle I equal to 1 degrees minus 127 degrees. That implies angle I equals to 53 degrees. Therefore other acute angle is 53 degrees. See now question number 8. If the three angles of a triangular sign board are 2x degrees x minus 10 degrees and x plus 30 degrees respectively, then find its angles. Let us see the solution. Given the three angles of a triangular sign board are 2x degrees, x minus 10 degrees and x plus 30 degrees. We know that in a triangle, sum of interior angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So, sum of all three angles is 180 degrees. So, 2x plus x minus 10 plus x plus 30 that equals to 180 degrees. 2x plus x, 3x, 3x plus x, 4x plus 
plus 30 minus 10 that is plus 20. So 4x plus 20 that equals to 180 degrees. That implies 4x equal to plus 20 on transposing it becomes minus 20. That implies 4x equal to 180 minus 20 that is 160 degrees. Here 4 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by. That implies x equal to 160 degrees by 4. 4 table 40 times 160 so x value is equal to 40 degrees. So let us find the 3 angles 2x that equals to 2 into x value 40 that is 80 degrees. Next x minus 10 that equals to 40 minus 10 that equals to 30 degrees. Next one x plus 30 that is 40 plus 30 that equals to 70 degrees. Therefore the angles are 80 degrees, 30 degrees and 70 degrees. See now question number 9. If one angle of a triangle is 80 degrees, find the other two angles which are equal. Let us see the solution given in triangle SRI. Angle S equal to 80 degrees, angle R equal to X, angle I equal to X. We know that in triangle SRI, sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So, angle S plus angle R plus angle I that equals to 180 degrees. Angle S equal to 80 degrees plus angle R equals to X, angle I equal to X that equal to 180 degrees. That implies 80 degrees plus X plus X that is 2X that equals to 180 degrees. That implies 2x equal to plus 80 on transposing it becomes minus 80. That implies 2x equal to 180 minus 80 that is 100 degrees. That implies here 2 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by. So x equal to 100 degrees by 2. That implies x value is 50 degrees. Therefore the angles of a given triangle are 80 degrees, 50 degrees and 50 degrees. See now question number 10. State true or false for each of the following statements and write the reasons for the false statement. See now first one. A triangle can have two right angles. The given statement is false. Why? Because in a triangle we know sum of three angles is 180 degrees. But in a triangle if two angles are right angles then 90 degrees plus 90 degrees that is 180 degrees. Then sum of three angles will be greater than 180 degrees. See now 10th question second one. A triangle can have two acute angles. Yes, this statement is true. See now third one. A triangle can have two obtuse angles. The given statement is false. We know that in a triangle sum of three angles is 180 degrees. But if two angles are obtuse angles, then sum of three angles is greater than 180 degrees. So the given statement is false. See now question number 11. The angles of a triangle are in the ratio 2 is to 4 is to 3. Then find the angles. Let us see the solution. Given the ratio of the angles of a triangle are 2 is to 4 is to 3. That can be written as 2x is to 4x is to 3x. We know sum of the angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So let us add all the three angles that is 2x plus 4x plus 3x that equals to 180 degrees. That implies sum of all three angles is 9x that equals to 180 degrees. That implies here 9 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by. So x equal to 180 degrees by 9. That implies x equal to 20 degrees. Now let us find the angles. 2x means 2 into x that is 20. So 2 into 20 40 degrees. Next 4x 4 into 20 that is 80 degrees. Next 3x that equals to 3 into 20 that is 60 degrees. Therefore, the angles of given triangle are 40 degrees, 80 degrees and 60 degrees. See now question number 12. Find the sum of interior angles in a hexagon. Let us see the solution. Divide the hexagon into 4 triangles as shown in the figure. Sum of the angles in triangle A, B, C that is 180 degrees. Sum of the angles in triangle AEC that is 180 degrees. Next sum of the angles in triangle EFA that is 180 degrees. And sum of the angles in triangle EDC is 180 degrees. So sum of the interior angles in hexagon is equal to sum of all these four triangles. So sum of angles in triangle ABC, triangle AEC, triangle EFA and Triangle EDC that equals to 180 degrees plus 180 degrees plus 180 degrees plus 180 degrees. So we had to add 4 times 180 degrees that is nothing but 720 degrees. 
Therefore, sum of the interior angles in a hexagon is 720 degrees. Today, we have seen chapter 5, triangles, exercise 5.2, 6 to 12 sums. By this, we have completed our exercise 5.2. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.